Now, check me if I'm wrong, Max Kellerman. How many times, for the purposes of this discussion, how many times, Max, have we sat here on this very show and watched one NFL analyst, one NFL aficionado, after another, after another, after another, lament the importance of draft picks. Oh, my God. You and I have sat back and went like this. Damn, it ain't that big of a difference between six and nine. Oh, what are you saying? It's, a, it's an incredible difference. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. It means everything. I mean, the sixth pick instead of the ninth pick? Do you understand what that means? I'm not talking about you, Max. I'm saying we've heard one NFL official after another, after another, after another, over the years that we have been doing this show, come on this show. You too, Molly. You were sitting right there in that seat. You sat up there and you watched them come on this show and talk about the importance of picks, particularly first rounders. And so the Philadelphia of Eagles, course. by losing the game, goes from the ninth pick to the sixth pick. I'm not saying it's that big of a deal. I'm saying they have been saying it's everything. So if it's everything, no one's thinking well, about picks what? this morning. That's the silver that's lining you. in them losing last night. No, well, actually, I'm sorry, Molly, actually, I Stephen A. You're, you're, I hear you, Molly. You're, Oh, I just said none of us are thinking about picks right now ex except for you, even though you are sort of right. Well, Go ahead, Max. Well, well, I, I would say this. They might be – that, that, like, when you think about what could possibly be the motivation, that's probably it, yeah. right? But it goes to the integrity of the game yesterday. Again, if it's Trevor Lawrence or some lower pick and you believe Trevor Lawrence is all the difference in the world, I get it. And a lot of people would debate me and they, on the integrity of the game. And I'd say, look, it's a transformational player versus a win that, you know, I, I, I'm sorry about the integrity of the game for the other team. But if it was a divisional rival that you could keep out by losing to a team in the other conference in another division, you don't care about, right? Fine. I even understand they stuck it to the Giants. Boy, in a way, I almost have to respect that, right? They're playing Washington. They're playing a divisional rival. They had the chance to play spoiler and keep them out by beating them. And here's the thing. This is in mm -hmm. my opinion. In my opinion, mm -hmm. the Eagles have no credibility. When they leak to Mortensen about, oh, they're going to, they're going to, or they, when he's reporting right. that they're, they want to trade Carson Wentz, it's irreparable between Carson Wentz and Peterson, but they're going to want a King's ransom for Wentz. How do the Eagles put that out there with a straight face? They ain't getting anything for Wentz. They're lucky huh. to offload the contract. Huh. Oh, whoa, 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 they're going to have to give whoa, up. Whoa, whoa. Time out. Time out, Max. Yeah. Did you just ask the question how the nerve the, the Eagles had the audacity to do that with a straight face? Did you just say that? Yeah, that's right. Well, then why the hell do you have a straight face? Molly, correct me if I'm wrong. Am I not looking at the dude right now in that split screen? Is his what? name not Max Kellerman? Is that the dude that supported Sam Hankey for years? Is that the dude that supported the process yeah, the for years? Max Is that Kellerman. the dude with I'm the same straight that face that I'm talked about? That Excuse me. Hold, hold on. on. Wait, wait. I'm you getting missed to you. the best Let me, point. Hold on. I'm the getting clip. to you. Let me get my soliloquy out. Is, isn't that that dude, Molly, that sat up there and said, yo, what's the big deal? There's a grand scheme here. There's a benefit. Who yep. gives a damn about about them losing. They weren't going anywhere anyway. Last time I checked, the Eagles wasn't Hold going on. anywhere. Facts there on are facts on many facts. more Steve players a. on Let's a football team. After this break. The, nature of, the, the nature of football is that, as Jason Kelsey eloquently and passionately put, brought up after oh, the game, it's okay the nature football. of football is that one player... Yes, one player is as oh, not as transformational in football as they yeah. are in basketball. He literally said, this is not basketball. Wait a minute. This is not basketball. So that's, if you want to talk about why there's a difference, there that's absolutely is a difference. But the credibility, wait a minute, but the credibility is not just about the Wentz nonsense that they spun. Clearly, they were trying to lose the game, in my opinion. And in fact, and you even brought it up before, Stephen I agree. And they sat a bunch of guys. I agree with that. Them. And even then, Jalen Hurts looked like he was going to win it, even with the poor play later in the game. In spite of all that, Hurts gave him a chance. So Max. what did they do? They actually pulled the one guy that gave them a chance Max. to win. It's outrageous. Mm -hmm. Mac, Mac, Max, a couple of things. Number one. Don't waste seconds with your drivel about telling us the difference between basketball and football. I think we know what the difference is. That's number one. Number two, up. I go back to your point. 
What I'm saying to you is I'm not denying the fact that there's a difference between basketball and football. I'm talking about the argument you elected to make when you were talking yeah. just about the Sixers, not comparing the sports. You, when you made the argument about the Sixers, you said, A, they weren't going anywhere anyway. You said, B, it's about what you could get on the back end because clearly for the front end for the immediate moment, you ain't getting anywhere, so what difference does it make? I'm saying when you take those salient points into consideration, it now becomes applicable anywhere you look. The Eagles were 4-11 or whatever, 4-10, whatever the hell their record was. They sorry. We get that, okay? They weren't going anywhere. Combined with the fact that they moved up three slots in the draft and they didn't give a damn about helping or hurting Washington or helping or hurting the Giants. They just cared about themselves, which is something you endorsed, even if it were at the expense in of fans football. paying their hard-earned money as customers. You didn't a care. Con you don't get to sit up here and care now. A Wait a minute. Yes, I do. You don't tell me what I care about. Okay. In a full contact violent fair, sport, 11 on 11, on a, in a full contact violent sport, 11 on 11, when your guys are playing their guts out, it is completely different in terms of the culture of the team than in the NBA, where that may not always be the case. The nature of the sport they is They would tell you you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Fewer players, superstars have a bigger impact in the NBA. But don't you're bringing NBA up the players Sixers tell you, you don't know what the hell you're talking point. about. Look, you just, look, you just you're, question, you're, you just question how hard point. the NBA players play? The, no, I'm saying a, the sports are different. Baseball and basketball are not the same as football. It's not trench warfare up front. It's not a full contact violent sport. The very nature is different, but I already addressed this. Not today. to them, Max. I might even not understand. To them. Mm. Not I to might them. understand if you had a chance not to, them, to get Max. a transformational player. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.